And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some lurkers. That's right, we're going to be playing Rek'Sai and Pike and all of these different lurker units for the first time. This is going to be our very first time playing this deck. So we got our list. Um, you know, it's going to be pretty generic, right? You just kind of throw all of the lurkers together. Um, we are topping out at Zerza Wrath? Question mark? <laughs> that looks like you just accidentally lay your hand down on the keyboard and that's what happens there um, but we're gonna be topping out at that thing um, for there is a six mana and eight mana lurker but we're gonna be uh, maybe making those with the call the packs and kind of rely on that i'm a little worried about our card advantage with having a card like feral presence that just doesn't replace itself that just kind of goes away and um bone skewer put something back on top of your deck call the pack put something back on top of your deck that's those put stuff something back on top of your deck is good for your lurkers, but I'm worried a little bit about our card advantage. So that's why we got three Preservariums in here and two Salvages to help get some extra card draw. Thought about playing Zap, Zap Sprayfin in this Salvage spot, um, but I uh, decided to go with the Salvage instead because I, I didn't really want like Sprayfin to draw this Feral Presence and then you, know, you don't really uh, have a lot of card draw. I don't know. So we're just going to play the Salvage. Uh, let's see, Ruthless Predator is in here to help give Rek'Sai that extra plus two, plus zero, and be a little bit more interaction. Um, but then besides that, it's going to be a lot of Lurkers and attacking with them and hoping things go well. So let's get to it. We're going to go play our five games in Ranked with some Lurkers. Okay, so right now there's currently a Pike and Siphoning Strike bug where Pike will get the if Pike chain kills stuff, he'll keep getting the siphoning strike bonus. Dang, that's pretty amazing. Hello. What are we playing against, Draven Riven? All right, we're going to keep the one drop. I guess Rek'Sai, you put that back. I don't know. I could see keeping Rek'Sai. Rek'Sai is pretty awesome. I kind of want to just keep all this. No, let's get rid of the Predator. I don't know. You know what? I'm keeping all of it. All right, so basically what I'm thinking here is that, um, you know, this is going to be a deck that's probably, like, all in on their champions, right? Like, their champions are going to be super important. And so I wanted to... Um, oh, but now I want to play this thing. Wait, you can only lurk once a round, right? Like, we only get the bonus once. All right, so I want to put that thing back there. So we get two plus ones because the Rek'Sai has that ability of like whenever you lurk, you get the plus one. And I thought like the Ruthless Predator would be pretty important against their champions, especially if they have a scout champion. Yeah, scout with with Draven. Um, all right, how am I doing this? I want to have... Alright, so they're going to be leveling up Draven immediately. I really hope that top card is... Um, is Lurker. Not that top card, the next top card. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess let's just let's just play our things. I hope it's a lurker. Yes. Come on, let this work. Don't have a one-man spell to protect. Oh, no! They did have a one-man spell to protect. Technically a zero-man spell. 
Oh man, that's pretty good. All right, so they had survival skills. Can't drop below one health this round. And now they have this thing with... Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Scout Draven, survival skills. Good. If they have If they have a spell, you know, like another Draven, like a whirling death, then I'm dead. And that's just how it is. Yeah, it's, it's game, like, one way or the other, basically, right here, right? Either I'm dead or I'm playing a bunch of things that are going to kill them. Ooh, okay. Alright, I'm not dead yet. Do I want to play this and open attack or play the Preservarium? I guess I just want to open attack. Oh, they have a wellness pursuit. <laughs> Kuma, stop! Kuma keeps giving my opponent the best cards they can have. Alright, so playing against all Mono Shirima. Yeah, that was a, a perfect all-in Draven hand. That was quite good. I feel like this is good. Riley, we call the pack the Zera Wrath. I guess we don't necessarily need to keep that, though. We can just call the pack something else. Yeah, Draven Scout's amazing, right? Because, yeah, Draven is such good at... Like, Draven's so good at, um, at attacking. We haven't missed a Lurk yet. So, four... Five, six, seven, eight. No, it's probably five, six, seven. Because I kind of want to play the Rek'Sai and then also put the Rek'Sai back on top and get, like, the double bonus. All right. Let's get a good plus three in here. My name will echo through the ages. <laughs> That's a lot. Alright, good shape stone. Alright, we'll hammer snout that thing. Oh my gosh, we missed! All three spells. Ooh! We hit, because we definitely set that up to hit the whole time. Well, I'm happy with that. Just gotta root the spread out of hand. Follow me. Alright, so Rek'Sai's at eight. So one more attack with Rek'Sai, if it lurks, it would get two plus one plus zeros. And therefore, uh, be at ten and level up. Man, I can't wait to see the Rek'Sai level up. I bet it's gonna be sweet. Man, that, that card's awesome. That card's awesome. We live in hollow times. Hmm. Not all of our cards are great.
So of course I want to predict after this draw step. Oh, we got a pike! We got a pike! Let's predict first and then see if we want to go pike or Rek'Sai. Oh, we're putting another pike on top. Don't stun my Rek'Sai. Don't do it. Oh no! Opponent conceded. I was gonna get. I was gonna get to see the Rek'Sai level up animation, and see what Pike looked like with the whole death from below type thing. Man. All right. So, chat saying that the Pike level up is too quick. They try to make it look scary, but it isn't. Um, I will keep this hand, yeah. Round one, hatchling. Lurk, um, I don't think it really matters which one we're lurking with. Yeah, it's a really low cost at hand and everything. That's why I want this Preservarium. I wanted to keep that because we are going to be emptying our hand pretty quickly. But yeah, they do this. Free attack. Oh, wow. They hit the, the one card. I'll just go ahead and do mine also. Yeah. Alright, so they have... This card right here is Rek'Sai. Right, so we know that. I guess I just... Call the pack... I should play one of these first. Man, lurkers are weird, right? Like, it's... <laughs> we're going to have to kind of get used to this whole play pattern and everything, but these things are cheap. Like, these lurker cards, they are... They are not expensive. But I don't really need to play this Hammer Snout Vulnerable, right? Because this thing's going to go away. Oh, right. The thing's vulnerable. They got another plus two, so they have another Rek'Sai on top then. Oh, then this thing still is going to stay here until the round end. Gross. Alright, let's play... Let's just play you and get some card draw going. Whoa! I wanted that pike. Oh, I wanted that pike to be the other card. I guess I'm not going to snap Jaw Swarm. I guess I'm going to play this thing. Why didn't I free attack? Because they had, like, the blocker that would have killed it. The, the blocker was going away. Man, they hit death from below. I really want them to play, like, whatever blocker that I was going to, you know, Ruthless Predator with the Vulnerable. Which I guess I still have to, I guess. Because this thing's quick attack. I, I don't really have another option. Yeah, Rek'Sai was a 7-3, so... I mean, they would have traded, yes, but I mean, that card just gets shuffled back into the deck. Like, why would I... Why would I... Have my card trade with something that's just gonna get shuffled back into the deck? It's not really like I'm killing the Rek'Sai, because it it's just it it already kills itself. It goes back into the deck somewhere.
Okay. I guess I'm lost too. Do I not? Does Rexai not be able to block or something? You say he couldn't block? Round end, place me into your deck. Yeah. So like round end, it was just going back into the deck somewhere. We, so this is a this is a different Rexai. We knew that they had two Rexais from from their abilities. It okay. So this already says round end, I die. Right. Like go. Place me into your deck somewhere randomly is like that's like the same thing as dying. So like, why would I just have like my card just trade with a card that was already dying? Yeah, that's that's bad for me if they would have blocked. I really hope they miss, miss, miss. Oh, but whenever this thing attacks, it just gives the other bonus. Oh, so they, they could have done that, but they didn't. Okay, well, uh, block there, and block there, and block there. It only has those things that round. Yes, yeah, so that's that's good to know how that works now. The thing is, is like salvage is the most valuable card here, but it doesn't give the. It's not a lurker, right? But like salvage, salvage is a card I have to have. Really, I need Pike, right? Like, Pike's like the card I need, and none of these are Pike, so. We did. Yeah. GG's, the, their Pike killing my Pike is what won that game, right? Like, that, that, that's what... The reason why they won that game was they had the pike, sp the, the pike spell, and I did not have the pike spell. And then I played a pike, and they they had their pike kill my pike. That's that's why that game went their way. Okay, let's see how we do. Um, I don't I don't know about this card right now. I don't know. We get the auto hit. Most likely auto hit. But like that, that's how we just run out of cards. Alright, so now, of course, we're definitely putting the Pike on top. Right, because we want to turn Pike into the champion spell. So it has that cool animation when you turn it into the champion spell. Or, it's not a champion spell, but y'all know what I'm talking about. I have urgent news. You don't understand. So right now it's only like three power, right?
So now Pike deals four. I want Pike to kill something bigger, right? Like, I want it to, tr to try to hurt, like, these other things instead of just trying to kill this thing. Yeah, this could definitely be a Jarvan round for them. With me. I guess they had two Jarvans at hand. That's good. Getting a spell, that is definitely good. to predict or get a free attack. I guess the free attack. Wow. They really came ready for this matchup. <laughs> they really did. Brittle Steel is perfect against Pike. For the Prince! For justice! For Demacia! Honor guide me! Break their ranks! You gotta believe me! Yeah, I do like the board music quite a bit with this. This board music is pretty sick. How will my people remember me? Uh, I don't think I can win this. <laughs> but Alright, definitely can't win it now. GG's, they had a lot of good interaction. That's the thing about our deck is we just have no interaction and we just run out of cards. You know, it's just all like these cheap units that once they deal with them, we lose. If they can deal with our two champions, especially Pike, that's kind of the problem here with what we have. We, we just don't, we have no interaction and no like real card advantage. Our only win was the mirror match, right? Yeah, but what does go full aggro even mean? Like how do, like, go full aggro against my opponent's deck that they just played had no shot. You're not you're not beating those kind of good, really good Demacia blockers and like that that deck just seems like a nightmare, right? Like they just have like all like the good Demacia blockers, they have challengers, they have like sharp sight, brittle steel, they're playing, you know, diff multiple different frostbite cards. My opponent definitely just my last opponent definitely made a deck to feast on people playing this new Lurker deck, that's for sure. Okay, we lost the mirror. Okay, so we we beat what Sharima? I 
I don't know if I'm supposed to put Rek'Sai back on top, but I, I really like making that Pike the spell. I, I feel like that's, you know, maybe like the most powerful thing our deck is doing. Yeah. Just like that. That's the best thing the deck's doing right now. It's not bad. I'm not sure what the exact landmark bug is, but there's some kind of bug for the landmark. Oh, gross. Alright, looks like we may be losing another mirror match. Another death from below? I was just living the dream. Oh, you can only lurk once a round, right? I can't, I can't lurk again. They're doing that and levels that up. Alright, whatever. Yeah, that's that's pretty awesome, right? Like, so they had the the free attack round two that that hits Pike, right? So round three, you get to play Pike, the champion spell, or like whatever the spell. It's frustrating. And then you know, and then they uh, predict and find another one, and they get another spell. But the round three, you know, death from below, that's pretty nice. The round three death from below, get Pike into play. I don't know. All right, so we lost two mirror matches, went one and two in other games. We definitely just didn't have the interaction to uh, stop our opponents. I think that we need more than Bone Skewer. I think that's that's kind of the thing. Um, I guess I need to do better with Pike, though. I need to do better with Death From Below. Rek'Sai looked pretty horrible. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be better. You know, I don't know, like, over the long haul if it'll be better, but... I was really, really disappointed with Rek'Sai just because it, the the whole 10 plus power thing was much, much more difficult than what I thought it'd be. I definitely think that we're going to need like some some more pump spells for that. Um, we originally were kind of planning on Shapestone with this list, uh, like my opponent had Shapestone, um, but the the there's I don't know exactly what it is, but people have been talking about that there's some kind of bug with the landmark for. Uh, this thing the lurk um this landmark is somehow bugged in the game and so it doesn't work like it's supposed to i don't know exactly what that bug is but it's not it's not working like it's supposed to so we didn't play this and didn't go shape stone if we'd go shape stone we'd play like instead of ruthless predator uh you'd play the three one that give, makes the landmark rock hopper if you play rock hopper that would be another landmark so you'd have like rock hopper preservarium Maybe you won't copy of that other thing. Um, but I guess we maybe should have done that anyway. But I don't know. I don't know. It didn't feel too good. The Lurker's first try. But that's the thing. Even though I know I sound like super negative about this right now, it's the first try, right? It's first day. Um, it This looks like it's going to be a little bit more difficult to throw together than just like play the Lurker's. Because uh, you got to figure out the... Uh, the card advantage problem, but then also the interaction problem, and that's the big thing. You got to figure out that interaction problem. Uh, my opponents did a better job. Both we played two mirrors, and my opponents completely outpiked me. Right, like they they outpike they out death from below me. Both both opponents, and that's that's what it seems like. That's what the mirror is about. Like if you can if you can have more and better, but especially more, you have more death from belows, you're gonna win. And I think that's. That was like the only thing that was really uh, determining the mirror match was who had more death from below. And both my opponents did that better than I did. 
and so they won both of those. So you know, we'll keep you know keep working on it, keep figuring it out. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, I you've probably had some time to be able to play these lurkers and and everything like that. I would love to hear your comments on the deck and um, what kind of cards should I be playing? You know, like because that's the thing. Like we, we we're still figuring out like what are like the best cards to be having. Like so, let me know what kind of interaction are you playing? If you're if you've been playing lurkers and having any kind of success, I would love to hear uh, why. What are you doing? Um, what cards are, have been really good, all that kind of stuff. Let me know over there on YouTube. I'd love to hear about it. All right, but that's going to be it here for the Lurkers. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.